Madrasa ni mimi na Walida. Sasikina wanakuja bila pesa na wapatia chakula. Wanakuja wananilipa baadaye. She says that uh, sometimes these drivers came comes here to eat from a kiosk and most of the times they don't have money so she gives the, uh, she gives food on credit. Ikia union tunaweza kuwa tunaweza kuwa nikipata profit nzuri. She said that she's saying that uh, when these drivers will, when they join union they will have a better payment and then she will not be giving them a lot of credit so she's getting some good profits. Yeah. We organise truck drivers but also all sorts of workers. I was a bus worker myself uh, for many, many years. Um, we've come here as part of an ITF delegation and we've come here to show solidarity with you guys because the international spotlight is on agility logistics here in Kenya. But the ITF has got a very good record of being able to come to places like this and show what the truth is to the rest of the world. Could you tell us what it's been like here working for Agility Logistics and, and why you've wanted to join the union? We are uh, working 24-7. That's 24 hours by day. Always. When we have uh, some uh, accidents, they don't treat us. They just leave us, we just care of, care, take care of ourselves. When it comes to payment, if you can uh, calculate the 24 hours with the Kenya shillings that we are earning, uh, it is very little. Very little. Mm. Yeah, of which we can't even cut our families. Yeah. We tried to talk with the management, they told us that uh, we don't deserve to get a lot of money because maybe we will waste ourselves. And yet we are grown up, we have families, we are managers of our families of our own, and that's why we requested. When you come to economy, here in Kenya it is very hard. When you are working with one dollar per day, because things have gone up, mm. You can't even make uh, with the salary that we are working. Yeah. If you come to education, children that we are educating, the salary that we are adding, what I pay for school fees for my kid mm. is double the salary that I get. So we decided to tell them we needed to work in a very good condition and also for you to take care of us. Mm. Because when you are working in a big company like this, you need to have insurance, you need to have health. And uh, also, you need to be working in a very good position that you will be happy. You all believe that the, un the company is trying to reduce the number of people that's in the union. You need to people. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So by, by throwing out people. some yeah. members yeah. so that the number goes down. Yeah. So that we cannot reach the number that yeah. they needed. When they took the list of the people that have joined the union, they start intimidation. They intimidate us. Some of us were sacked. They have been thrown out. So there have been some people sacked? Yeah. In fact, even our leader here, Steve, was one, uh, is one of the victims that was thrown out. Look, I've heard about intimidation, you've told me today, but um, the company has said to us that the union's been intimidating you to join the union. Yo! No. 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 So, are you all union members? Yes! Yes, yes. 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 you all join the union freely? Yes! yes. 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 Union is our voice. Solidarity! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, we are in workshop. We are uh, around 25 mechanics, and we have joined the union. And our problem is uh, poor pay. Secondly, we have uh, we have given a contract after three months. We given another three months, another one six months. So that's why we have a problem with that. Thirdly, we don't have a weekend allowance. Uh, that food, uh, transport allowance we don't have, allowance. house allowance, 
overalls, safety boots, breakdown allowance. Also, we want to okay? It's last in the offer time. That is why we join union so that we can be achieved for that. When I was being, when I was, I got letter of being sacked. There's a message I left with my HR manager. The only way out of this problem is to give justice to all uh, employees of Ajit Logistics. And the problems will end. Up to now, they have not gotten that justice. And still I'm calling upon the management of Ajit Logistics. Please give justice to all employees of Ajit Kenya. Thank you.